So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to update your WP config file so that WordPress does not automatically update your site. Now before we make this change, let's just remind you that if you stop WordPress from updating the site automatically, you will need to do it manually, otherwise you will not be up to date and you will be vulnerable to any problems, uh, any bugs or any exploits found by hackers in the recent past. But there are people that want to disable the automatic update so that they can do a backup and they can do an update in their own time um, under their own control and then check the site works properly before going live. Many of those people will run a backup stroke test site somewhere and they'll copy the data across, do the update there. If it works on the test site, then put it back on the main site as well. So after all those caveats, the easiest way to make the change is to use your FTP program. So on the right hand side here you have the website and you see I can access it uh, from the directory here and then what I need is the WP config file. which is here at the bottom. It's at the bottom because I'm in modified date order. It's obviously easy to find if you click on that and it's in file name order then. So you want the wpconfig.php. You can right click on most uh, editors, uh, file transfer program, sorry, to get to your editor. The one I'm using here is FileZilla, a free FTP program for FileZilla but you want to view straight edit the file, it will be downloaded and then launch probably into your, your editor which could be notepad or in my case I have NetBeans. So uh, you then scroll down to the file and I'm sorry that I had to um, blur out all the other settings because I don't really want people seeing what they are and you need to add this line of code so this is stopping uh, SiteGround from auto updating my site for me and WordPress so you just paste that piece of code into your WordPress and then save it so in the case of this program, I, well, I haven't been seen to change anything, so I'll just put a space in there so I'm seen to have changed something. If I close it, it then says, do you want to save it? I say yes. If I now go back to WSFTP, it realizes the file has changed. It says, do you want to send the file back? Yes, I do, but before that, do I want to delete the local version? Yes, I do, because I don't want to leave it behind. So copy up for me, delete the local version, all files have been transferred and that site now will not auto update. So I can now check when um, WordPress updates are available, make sure it works properly with all my plugins and themes and then run the update myself in my own time. So thank you very much for watching. If this helped you, please give me a thumbs up. If you weren't happy, give me a thumbs down and make a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Thank you. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.